So, hello guys. Yeah. What are you doing in your holidays? Or maybe Sunday, Saturday. So, do you know what we're going to do today? So, you're at morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever, or whenever you are. So, so do you know what we're going to do today? We're going to do, we're going to do, uh, uh, and today we're going to do a free troll. Over here, this is free troll. Oh, and here, can you see it? But first, I'm going to give you an example for the entire thing that we're going to do. Here. So, we're going to make it be like this. You could make player two, and then we have a timer set and a score. So, let's see. And we're also going to make, make it like this. To make it happen, all you need to do is let's start the tutorial first. So, let's go down, and let's get free throw. So, you can see, right? All I want is, today we're not doing just that, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing, my upgrade.mico.com beta means that it will, it, now they're going to make me a tour on two. Let's go to free troll, and we'll start with blocks, tutorial, or maybe you can let us choose JavaScript or Python. But now they don't have Python in a crate. But now it's better. Let's see. I'm gonna read it. Line up your shot and see if you can slam dunk this basketball free trophy game. Now say it together. Line up your shot and see if you can slam dunk this basketball free trophy. And now say it together with yourself. You done my competition. We're gonna make it do like this at the first time and you will make it like be like this. So now let's see. We'll go to the next from the scene to box. Drag a set background image block into workspace. I mean into the workspace and drop into the arms block in the set background image block click on the gray oval to open the image editor and draw half of a basketball curve. Now say together from the scene toolbox draw drag a set background image block into the workspace and drop into the unstart block in the background in the set background image block, click on the gray oval to open the image editor and draw half of a basketball court. Wow, that's a great talking. So there it is. Set background image. So we get to the two and then wait a minute. Actually, we're not going to get from the galleries. That's from garden or something. We wanted to make it a football field. Not a football, basketball field. So we're going to fill this thing with this. And this one, we'll use, the, we'll use orange. And then we'll use the paint tool with a, a bit more size over here. And then we're going to make it over here, a line to, to, put, uh, to put a hook or something. And we're going to make this thing. But I make it easy first, you could come back and make it more bigger. Uh, but I think I feel like it's not in the middle. I'm gonna hold this thing to here. And then this is another thing. I'm gonna do like this. And then let's see what we have. Because because you can see it, right? Because you can see that the that the entire screen here is actually is actually one city by 
by 120. So, as you can see, the middle of the, of, 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 I mean, of the, I mean, of, of, of our crane, my code, I, I mean, the meal, but you got it. Is there, or is it, of this thing, is, you can see it's small, right? But in the real screen here, it's at the middle, is actually here. Not heal. And zero but zero is actually is actually here as you can see. So let's done and then let's go next. From the spray to box drawer, drag a set my spray block and drop after the set right on image block. Click on the gray O to Open in the sprite image editor and draw or select a gallery image for your player. That's great. So let's set a nice sprite to kind of play. So as you can see, so as you can see, that that this thing is 16 by 16. That's great. I think maybe they want us to pick from the galleries. Let's see, they want us to pick from the gallery. This one. But do you want to try another one? Or if you want that, then maybe I choose it first and you can come and change it to another character we want. So let's done for it. Can you see, guys? They want us. Uh, I think, but actually when it's roll, it's actually going this way. And as you can see in the, in the thing, it's supposed to be like this, but it's still like this, but it's okay. Maybe just it wanted to be like that, but no worries, because you could imagine anything you want to. It's maybe, it's maybe like... So you can see that at beta is be like this too, and that's great. And you like when it be like that because it makes us see properly more. Let's go next from the spread to box or set a drag, uh, set sprite position block, and drop after the set sprite block in the set my sprite position block. Click on the X coordinate and using the coordinate picker. Select a location at the bottom of the screen. They want us to do uh, that's right. So we can just choose our own position. Let's choose one. Maybe here could be great. Let's see. Mm, I, it's not what I want. Maybe sure. And that's close to here. And that's not what I want. So let's mix. From the sprite to box drawer. Not again. Because we need to do a lot with the sprite. So we're going to get the velocities. Grab a set my sprite velocity block. And drop after the set my sprite position blocks and we only want the player to move horizontally. Set the PY value to be zero. Oh, wow, that's great talking too. So all we need to do is the PY and want it for zero. As you can see, that is go away. Notice in the game console window. They are play actually move off the screen. We don't want that from the spray to box row. Drag a set my spray stain screen block and drop after the set my spray velocity block in the set my spray stain screen block. Use the drop down menu to select the property round stone wall and toggle the value to true. Let's try it, guys. So this set us to get my sprite stain screen and they said it has to bounce on the wall. Here it is. 
round some roll. And this has to cover the round to be true. If it's false, then it's off. Then if it's true, then it's on. So let's click on and try what's going on with it. And you can see it bounces. And bounces like what we wanted. So let's try to go again. Next. So I'm gonna next. And then from the sprite toolbox draw and drag and I reset my sprite block and drop the after they sent my sprite down some more block. Click on the gray oval to open the sprite image editor and draw an image of a basketball hoop. Wow! So so we will rename it first so we not confused. Hoop. And it, oh, and the kind you want in another one as hoop. Oh, hoop. Wow. And also want us to in the set my spread to block, click on the player and from the kind drop down menu and then new kind and type in hoop. Like what they say. So we're gonna draw this thing because we don't have anything to show you yet. Let's see. So we'll try. We'll use the white and then you we'll draw it like this. I'll try to make a basketball hoop if I can. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Wow! And that's looking really great. Hi. Maybe seven. I think six. Or maybe I think eight to be great. And we will we will move this thing down a bit. To give us more place. So we're gonna do it like this to let it connect together and I'm gonna make more place. And let's see what we have here. It's a kind of hoop. And that's what they call crazy. Next, from the sprite toolbox drawer, drag a set my sprite position block and drop after the set my sprite to block. The set my sprite to be changed to the hoop much more. In the set my sprite position block, click on the my sprite drop down menu and select my sprite to. My sprite to, you don't need to find my sprite to. Because we are actually renamed the Mustard 2 to Hoop. And so let Mustard 2 then click on the X continent and using continent picker set the location at the top of the screen. So we will maybe set, maybe set position on my sprite. And that's why we want it. No. No, oh, no, that's not what you want. You want hoop. So you can, as you can see, you don't need to get it from there. All you can do is just create get loop hoop. And you can fit, fit inside at your time. And that's the secret. Maybe a bit up. So, so first I will get that thing up. No, that's not what we want. We want to create get loop. Get loop. Put there. And then I don't think this is good. I think we just need to move a bit. To let us see. Let's see what we have. Oh. I think it's maybe too much. We want it. 76. Let's see. This will not add there. So X, you can change it to on um, Oh, or maybe it's too much. Maybe 90. And why do you want it? I 
Oh, it's down there. We wanted this. Or I think maybe one. Just put it there. X. A. Uh, maybe not. So that position, all we want is to make it there. Or maybe we could just eighty two. I think this may be we want it nine. E two. Oh yes, nine. Now that's what we want. So that was a long taking. It's okay guys. When you're making you could Make it like that too. Let's see. On any button first. It's there. Let's read it, guys. From the controller to box roller, grab a on button press block into your workspace. Click on the A drop down menu to select any button. So there's any over there. And where and when there's any so let's see so so on any press we will we will uh, let's go to next we will set projectile oh there it is projectile set projectile the they want us to make one so i'll let you see the grids then how many? It's 15 by 16. So if you can, I'm gonna let you see a bit. If you see done, then good. So I'm gonna go back a bit to there. And then let's make one. So all we want is to make it like this. Something like that. I tried to make one. It's not a big one. But it looks like a basketball. But do you know what we are missing? Basketballs is brown. But I think we want it orange. But it can also be brown. You know? We'll add a bit round too. We wanna add some like a dirty like it's dirty. So so let's let's uh I mean I mean let's see what they want from the Sprites to walk through and drag I said projectile projectile for my sprite. And we wanted this one. My sprite and block and drop into the on button press block. Click on the gray oval to open the sprite image editor and draw an image of a basketball hint. Try using the circle tool in the image editor. This is circle to his name. You could put anywhere that is like that. So let's see what we have here. And XY we want it just so so and as you can see we want a basketball to throw our play where to cut I mean where to cut in upwards in the separate our block set the we actually have a to zero and said that we want the other to 100. Oh, I mean negative 100. Because as you can see, if it's, if the middle is here, down, it still have, have the screen is positive. And if it's negative, it's left, right, is positive. 
Nibbles up, there's no more screen of, of inside here. It's negative. So that's not like in scratch that you can see in the scratch play playlist that we made. So let's see. What did we try? As you can see, I think it's a bit big. Maybe 10 by 10. And I think I'm going to erase everything and try to make it again. Oh, that's so. To make it look like that. That look great. Maybe you can fill it with brown. And let's try to draw it like this. Now that's what I call basketball. Let's try making that. Wow, and that's the right now. Because if it's 16 by 16, it would be maybe big as the player. And that's not what we want. So so we'll next. From the spread to box draw, drag and on my spread overlap block and drop it on the workspace. So at the workspace, as you can see, there'll be an overlap. So let's see. Player. And let's see what we have. So if player is over. No. I mean projectile, it is overlap with who? Then, this is at 2. Click on the ball player, kind of drop menu, then change projectile and the other who? And game over, click the top of to win. From the game of game, two box draw, drag that game over block and drop into the on Sprite overlap block. Click on the toggle to win. Let's try. Let's try finishing. We don't want to share yet. So, so for now, so now, as you can see, like that one. So now we're gonna make a bit on any press. Actually, I think it could be better if you put it a bit of a screen shake. So we'll add this. Scene, you could see at the bottom have the camera, and you can see the camera shape. So all you, so all we want is camera shape by four pixels, for five, for one second, and at this one, one it will be three much more. So let's see, and it will have a screen shape because when you throw. You get full hand to get it to the back, to the hoop. So it will be a screen shape of it. And that's what I call you win. So all we want is, as you can see, we want it, we don't want it to be game over. We want it to be a, a changed score by one, and then you get a set score to zero. So, when you try, it will change score a lot of things, I mean a lot of times. So, all we want is, we want it to play for two players, I mean for two players. Because, you can make it a two player if you want, but if you don't want then it's okay. But now I'm going to make a two player. So all you need to do is it will, it will duplicate this on start block and you get this thing out. You don't need the background image. Now you need that on start. On start. And all you want is you don't need the hoop. And, and we will put this thing in. And the mind sprite, we don't want it to be my spread 
We want it to be my, I mean, my separate, let's write two. And then let's write two. We want it to be another one. In the gallery, you can see this one. You want it this one. And this one, we also gonna change like we want. So I think we maybe choose a uh, I don't think they have it. But it's okay, we'll choose one. I don't know which one to choose. This one. This but I think could be better if we choose a bit this one. Set my spray to position. My spray to my spray to and now we'll get another one at the multiplayer as you can see this one you can here you copy this entire thing and we're also gonna screen shape don't forget this one change score Oh, wrong one. No, we don't want that. And that projectile, we want it to be respect to. And that projectile, we want a new vertical color boom. That's what I want with the projectiles. So it will be my uh, new thing every time on any button press. Any, any. Uh, I don't think it's have any. But this one have any, so I want it A. Do you know that you can make four players in your way? And maybe A, because it don't have any inside player. I thought it had. Okay, then we try again. Wait a minute. The velocity is the same. That's not what we want. So we want the velocity to be 80 much more. So it should be more, more than, more than it. And now you can see we can do like this. So let's see what we have. So that room, we want it to be like another, another one. Oh, like another color, then it will Confused at which one is which one. So let's see. Done. When it's done, let's see what we have here. Now that's the pretty. So, as you can see over here, we do duplicate. That projectile. Uh, I know what's the problem. There's no problem, but it's not even a problem. It's just we don't have the set. So we we'll set room. If you set it, then it should make two player. I mean, we don't want that. We want it pro jet tile project two. So that project tile two. We could pick project tile two. And the of kind. We wanted to change player to score. We'll also get this one. Set player to score. You're gonna put it go to the on star here. And you're gonna get this out and then put it to there. And as you can see we will fix it. And now we got our thing. So first it's zero, and you can see at the one here and two here, it's about the players, that is player one or player two or player three or player four, but we have two players. But now we have only the score as zero. So we go, 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 go. Do you know what's the problem now? 
The problem is, is when it's hit the hoop, it's always changing scores so fast. All you want is, we want to pause for two seconds. Then it will not be like that, that we don't want. So, so we're going to start countdown to make sure it's have a time ending. So we we'll start countdown for, for maybe 10, oh, I, I think, We don't have a timeout, then we may use for I mean fully. And I also want to stop the signaling there first. Because we're gonna make an on countdown end. Oh yeah. And as you can see that on countdown end, we don't need an if statement. I mean an if statement anymore. Because it's already have an if inside on countdown and you could code it, but we just don't want that. We will make it faster and even if don't have the code if statement to to uh, I mean this don't have the countdown thing, this don't have the countdown life, and the countdown like if countdown it is don't have and it's already have an if statement inside here. So we want that one. On countdown in, get an if. If else. And we're also gonna get an no um, if greater. I mean if greater. If uh, I mean if uh, if player choose if player one score is is greater than player two score, then we want to splash. Then we want to splash P one win, and we we'll duplicate this to put it in the else, and at the else already have this one which is. Which it will be P1 here and P2 here. And the else is mean others. And we will get P2 in. And now, so, so now that you can see it, right? We're gonna put some sound. Play sound, but then, and another one, but then, two. And we will, let's see. Now, you. Let's see, guys. 31, 30, 29, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 6, 5, 4, oh, 1. P1 wins because you can see 23 P2 has 23 and, and player 1 has 26 and it will be P1 win. And what about we try P1 more than P, I mean P2 more than P1. So we want the P1 to not losing scores until the timer ends because we want to try it. what happened player 2 wins. So you can wait a bit. You can rest a bit here. Or you can see 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Pizza wins, and now that's gonna happen. But you can see, I think it doesn't work. So let's see what we have here. I'm gonna let you use the see the code a bit, but I think it's looking messy around. 
we want to format the code to make it look great. So I'm going to talk about all these codes. So we want it to set record on image to make it like a basketball field. And next, we start countdown because we want it to have a time end. And we want to set score to zero, then it will be the score at the previous one already. Then, we want to set play to score because play to score one also need to be zero. Set my sprite to on a player, want us to make a player. I mean, it can make a player. Position, help positioning the sprite we want them. And the velocity to is to move by itself the velocities and velocity oh, and bounce and wall help to keep it when it's on on the edge of the screen then it will bounce like this dun, 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 like a pong game but it's not a pong game and send the spray to and the others are the same and set who make a who. And and as you can see, we may be gonna gonna play it for you a bit. Wait a minute. So as you can see that just this much can make a game too. It's maybe not a maze, not a platformer, not a strong boss platformer. And this is enough to make a game. Don't worry if, if yours are not good because make sure you, you uh, I mean, it, make sure you, uh, you subscribe me to see more videos and if you, and if you so so focus on your game, then I'll give you good job. So it doesn't mean you're great or good. It means that you 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 make it focus or not, and you concentrate or not. So as you can see, I'm gonna let you see the code for a way of it. Code we have one, two, three. Four, five, six. Six on six, uh, I mean, six code that have a thing. Because the on start is like a, is, is like the, the first time and what gonna make. Then if you grab this out, then if you don't have, if, if you grab this in, then it will be like this. As you can see, OnStart is making things, if you put codes on them, if you don't put codes on them, then it will not work because the OnStart is when it starts to do what? As you can see, the code, they're pretty great. And let's go to home. And, and I'm going to, and, and now we're going to download it to our mailbox. So let's go back to free trial. And we download Juice Hardware to run the mailbox. We will also download. Wait a minute. Searching download. We got our mailbox. And they have a USB cable here. We'll block it. And I'm going to block it. Oh. And there it comes. Now they want us to get the file. Can you open it? There will be a pray for. And you will and we'll go to our file as far as and we'll go to downloads. And you can see the free trial. You we'll copy. Just copy. We just need to click it first. And then you copy. Oh, not that. 
to copy this one. Copy and then I create four. And then you place. Copy one item. And you got your free throw. So we get the USB cable out. Then the download complete US file, you don't. And let's go home and see what we have here. So now that you can see our meal bit, I'm gonna play it for you. So you can see it there. And you cannot use the player two because there's no player two. Oh, P1 win. Wow. So, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, and I think I talk, and I think I talk, uh, talk, as you can see, a lot of times. It's okay. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make code upgrade. And bye-bye.